Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how tropical storms are measured. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. The Saffir Simpson scale is used to measure the wind strength of tropical storms. The higher the category scale, then the more intense a tropical storm will be, and the stronger the winds. The scale was simplified in 2012. Previously, it included information on storm surge height, flooding impact and air pressure. However, storm surges and flooding are affected by local conditions as well as wind speed. So it was seen as a not a very helpful way to compare tropical storms. It now just takes wind speed into consideration. Let's look at the storm categories in more detail. Category 1 storms have wind speeds of between 74 and 95 miles per hour. They will cause minor damage to the roofs and guttering and fascias of well-constructed buildings. Large branches of trees may snap off and some trees with shallow roots may topple over. The winds will cause some power lines and poles to come down, meaning that people could be without electricity for several days. Category 1 is about the strongest storms we will get in the UK. Category 2 storms have wind speeds of between 96 and 110 miles per hour. They will cause major damage to roofs and sides of well constructed buildings. Many trees with shallow roots will fall down causing blockages of roads and railway lines. The winds will bring down many power lines and poles causing widespread electricity blackouts which could last for weeks. Category 3 storms will have winds of between 111 and 129 miles per hour. They will cause major structural damage to well constructed buildings such as the roof being ripped off and the gable ends collapsing. There will be widespread uprooting of trees blocking transport routes. Electricity cables and water pipes will be destroyed leaving people without electricity or clean water for a significant period of time. These categories, categories 1 to 3, are the categories of storm that scientists predict will decrease because of climate change. However, scientists predict that we will see a rise in more severe storms, those classed as category 4 and 5. So let's have a look at these in more detail. Category 4 storms will have wind speeds of between 130 and 156 miles per hour. They will cause severe damage to well-constructed buildings such as the loss of the roof and exterior walls. Most trees will be uprooted and most electricity poles will be brought down. This will block roads and it will cut off power supplies for weeks, isolating residential areas. There will be widespread flooding and destruction which will make most of the area uninhabitable for weeks or maybe months. Category 5 storms have wind speeds of over 157 miles per hour. They will cause widespread destruction of buildings, including those made of steel frames. Roofs will dis be destroyed and walls will collapse. Nearly all trees and electricity posts will be uprooted, meaning that communities will be cut off and without power for weeks, maybe months. There will be widespread flooding and destruction, which will mean the area is completely uninhabitable. Most people will have to be evacuated and housed in temporary accommodations where they will stay for weeks or months before the area is deemed safe to return to. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on how tropical storms are measured. Thank you for watching.